Well, let's pick up with another Browns running back. It's all Browns all day today. Um, let's go with, with Nick Chubb. We haven't seen a lot of him. What I have seen, I liked. He looks good. Uh, how do you guys feel about Chubb? I, I think personally, I know we just said we're buying Carlos Hyde, and that's because of what could be potentially happen for the rest of the season and for seasons to come. Maybe somewhere else. And then for somewhere else. And then the future of what this Browns offense is going to be, that being Nick Chubb, I'm totally buying into. And I think there could be some people who maybe spent some higher picks on him that maybe soured on him a little bit. And he had soured a little bit through the draft process. Like at, at first, I, I felt like he was one three one four, And then by the time we were drafted near the end there in rookie drafts, like he was dropping down to the six, seven range. Sure. Well, I, well, yes, because after, for the late rookie, early rookie drafts, eh, maybe even some of the early rookie drafts, he was one six in some people's. But by the time you, if you had a late rookie draft and you'd already seen Carlos Hyde get a first couple carries in the preseason, his short-term outlook was already diminished and like you said hadn't seen a lot of them three nobody carries. likes a long-term outlook in dynasty it, god forbid hates it if you can't get anything out of them three carries 21 yards week one two carries for 14 both of those are seven yards per clip right for what that matters on a very small sample and two for six last week and last week i thought that he, he got in he snuck a run down to the near the goal line and i'm i got carlos like i just said and i was like oh damn it they're gonna give him he got him down there they're gonna give it to him but he he got tackled and then they they, they brought carlos in maybe because of the situation of what had carlos had going on with the baby the birthday right all the above maybe but he did look good and i thought he was gonna sneak a touchdown in there sure but well, only seven carries to this point no no catches no reason to do anything else with him you got carlos who can shoulder the load well, that's the thing. And Carlos has done work, you know, and especially, you know, looking decent first two weeks and looking great last week. You just you see Carlos got 20 something carries. Nick Chubb gets two. It's not even it's not even a split. It's not even a mm -hmm. running back. Duke Johnson can't even get a touch. I mean, right. it's, yeah. it's Carlos Hyde's backfield all the way around at this point. So that's your short term outlook on Nick Chubb is he's the backup. And yes, yeah, I mean, all running backs can get hurt. Carlos Hyde's Absolutely. been hurt, and until Carlos Hyde gets hurt, Nick Nick Chubb is on the outside looking in for more more chances. He can't even produce without chance. You know, it's right. obviously opportunities, everything, and he's getting no opportunity right now. But I agree. I think this is a great opportunity to go try and buy some Nick Chubb because he, did, like you said, you had to spend a decent amount to get him, whether that was in a startup or a rookie draft. Right. He was a fairly hot commodity, and now he's not getting you anything. Yeah, and I could see it definitely being sour on him. I completely agree. And I mean, obviously, maybe the value's up a little because people are excited about the Browns are in people's mouths right now. Right, mm -hmm. um, right. Obviously, you could have probably got them for even cheaper last week. I, 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 just, I, 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 I disagree with that just because how good Hyde looked. Yeah. You sure. know, maybe, maybe I don't enough. think he's. Yes, the Browns are on. Yes, Baker Mayfield, the Browns, they're everywhere right now. But just because how good how Carlos Hyde looks, I think it further cements the next week until. Further notice with no Carlos Hyde injury, I think Nick Chubb is doing minimal. So and and I and I referenced Nick Chubb in a dynasty trade I made last week on the Patreon side of the show, and I will revisit that trade on Patreon. So go find us on Patreon to catch up with us. Get us that five dollar. Well, tell, tell tell us tell us what you did. I can't do it. Can't do it in public. <laughs> I'm keeping my personal trades on the Patreon side of things. Keeping it in the family. <laughs> keeping it in the family. All right. Well, Patreon.com slash the FF Dynasty. Fair enough. Um, but I do, I do think that um, people are people want the payoff now, so people are willing to trade maybe Chubb for somebody who's playing now and can get them points for now. For me personally, like I know I just sent over Sony Michelle for Nick Chubb. I had a I had a third worked in there just to see if I could get the third with for Sony. I'm the Sony owner trying to get Chubb. I've been a Chubb guy. I had Chubb above Sony. Uh, there's nothing wrong with Sony. Obviously, it hasn't been great for him uh, in the first couple of games for the Patriots. Not nothing to be like, oh my god, ever, nothing to get the Sony motors nah. churning. He hasn't looked as electric as he did in college. That knee, I think, is probably still hindering him. He dropped a couple passes out of the right. Back the field, passing so. game is what has you a little down, but he was never really so much of a passing guy. He's looked great running the ball for the most part. I think he's been carrying guys and and creating yards as the yards Gr created he's grinding it out right i think he's looked good i don't have any problem with him and now you got burkhead on ir so you know there's probably going to be more and more sony and then this offense the patriots offense will continue to grow as the season goes on as we always see plus you get, you've added gordon you'll get edelman back yada 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 i'm just for me personally 
I've always valued Chubb more than Sony, so I've re- currently uh, there's a trade sitting on somebody's desk for Sony and uh, for Sony and a third, or Sony for Chubb and a third. Yeah, and that that's just the way I feel about it. Like maybe it's the wrong call, but I'm a big Chubb supporter, so I'll I'll I'm okay with waiting for my guy to Real. produce. Well, you may be trading away opportunity because that um, we see and that's kind of what I'm banking on. Somebody yeah. of being like, oh, well, this guy's out there now. He's on the Patriots. Maybe they, there's a book out now saying that the Patriots could load this up again for years to come. Yeah, the guy that, that wrote the book, he said that, that he sees them playing Tommy and Bill filling it up again and basically until they get another championship. Wow. Well, the, the RB scout, Adam, put out a tweet that showed that um, I think maybe – Sony had been in for 38 snaps, and he either got target or carried yeah. 29 of them the, or something right, like that. The percentage of him touching the ball when he's on the field is a lot. And, is, and yes. people are saying, well, Bill Belichick needs to stop being so stubborn and proven while they drafted him at number one. I don't think that's what it is. I think they really truly believe in this guy, and they, they exactly. want to ride him. So, yeah, I mean, I, I've, they're not trying to prove anything. They, they proved that they think he's a good player. Like, yeah. What well, does that even mean? That... Like that, if if the Seahawks that they were forcing it to him in this last game, as opposed to maybe giving other people shots of doing things because the, who who's going to run the ball for them? Jeremy Hill's on IR. Burkhead banged up his neck. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Right. Well, and, uh, it's and, not me. And I know. I'm and, not saying. I'm just and, whoever and, this is. And every tons of people. All trades are Idiots. circumstantial. And where you're sure. trying, to, where you're trying to trade away Sony for Chubb, you got plenty of running backs. I do. And you that's don't fair. even need Sony. You don't, I don't. You don't need Sony's production. I don't. In the I next got Mark Ingram coming three back. Three to ten, which is another reason to. If, if Sony picks up and takes off in the next three weeks, you might look like the bad end of that trade if you get it done. Right. But you don't even need you don't you don't even close to needing to start Sony because right. of the way you have your team built. So if you're prepared to do that trade in, I think it's a fair trade for both sides. Right, and I mean that's kind of what I'm banking on is that somebody maybe even valued Sony more than Chubb. This was a startup and it was an auction, so they probably were about the same price. Yeah. Um, and I I ended up buying Sony Michelle. I had Chubb for a while. This guy outbid me. Yep. Um, so I that that's just. Oh, a case that I have right now. If I'm trying to go get Chubb, I'm trying to trade in Sony just because I believe in what Chubb has. So I'm putting my money where my mouth is with the Chubb. I'm going to buy all the Chubb. <laughs> money, mouth, and Chubb. Those things. Those things hilarious. Sentence. All go together. <laughs> That's a hilarious sentence. So you want to? I got, I got no words. So we're gonna move on I from plead the fifth about the Chubb. But well, no, I mean, I'm I'm fine with that. You're a Chubb guy. You've liked him more than Sony. I've since I've covered Sony and and Chubb, I haven't been able to decide which one I like more. So it's a fair trade depending on who you like. I mean, so I'm I'm all about. I guess the but the, I'd be going to buy Chubb. I'm, I'm all in on that. Trying to get as much Chubb as I can in every league that I'm in where I don't have any Chubb. I've been sending out offers just to see what could happen. Well, that's the thing about. The Chubb situation. If you're a buyer, you need to understand that you may be buying for next year without a Carlos Hyde injury because he's getting nothing right now. Right. And I'm okay with that. And they have Duke Johnson who they're not utilizing. Sure. And so you may be buying for straight up 12 month hold. Absolutely. 